An Instrument 1 preset is comprised of three things, mode, tuning, and method. And to get the most out of your Instrument 1, it's good to know what these things mean. Mode is the way that the Instrument 1 is actually laid out. There are four modes, fretted, fretless, grid, which will give me 78 note locations and allow me to play multiple notes on the same string, and finally pad, which is similar to grid mode, except each pad becomes one giant trigger. Tuning is a really fun one, and it's not just for guitar. Every mode has a different dropdown full of tunings. So if I go over to fretted, I'll see tunings that resemble guitar tunings. High guitar, which is just an octave up. Drop D, which is a fun one to play. And open G, which is one of my favorites. Although when we think of the word tunings, we often imagine a guitar, there's tunings for every mode, even pads. So I'll come into pads, and it defaults to C major, but I can easily make this a minor scale. <music> Lastly, let's talk about methods. Certain methods are only available in certain modes. For instance, if I'm in a fretted mode, I can strum and I can tap, but I can't slide. Let's look at one of our favorite presets here, a fretted tap mode. This is especially good if you're a guitarist looking to shred a little bit. But now what if I wanted that fretless? I'll go to the fretless mode and you'll see that the methods change. I can still strum, now I can bow. My personal favorite way of playing this is by sliding. This is like the fretless version of tap. Let's do one more from scratch just to fully understand how all of these pieces work together. We'll do a grid mode, which gives me the most note locations possible. And for tuning, I'm gonna choose three by three. In grid mode, there's only one method, and that's tap. Easy decision. 3x3 three three is a great tuning. It's tuned in thirds. Which means I can do a major scale like this. Anybody looking to button mash and just hop in and start getting some interesting melodies, leave their comfort zone, this is a really fun tuning to play. Let's choose a different sound. This harp should work. no wrong notes, everything is tuned to the right key, so I should just be able to take a couple guesses at where to put my fingers next. So all presets are composed of these three elements. They're easy to find, easy to play around with, and the best way to get to know them is just by clicking around a little bit. We're looking forward to seeing what you come up with.